At this point, you should have the rest of the bird filled in. And this next step that we're gonna be doing is adding a border around the outside of the bird just to clean up the edges, make it feel more cohesive and giving it that smooth um, outline around the outside. So to get started, choose a color. It could either be a neutral color, so black or brown, um, or you could use a color that you used on your bird. So think about the different colors that you would like for your border. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add glue around the outside to every piece just to make sure that this is going to stick around um, and fit into all of the edges and crevices on the outside of the bird. For your final project, it is optional if you would like to use a border. So think about how, if you like the look of this border from practice or if it's something that isn't gonna really fit for your ideas with your final project. But this is just to give you another option um, and it does help to have that extra layer that really cleans up the outside of your focal point. So as I'm adding this uh, border piece around the outside, I'm just holding it down for a second here to make sure that it sticks to the outside before moving on. So really take your time with it. As you're adding this piece around the outside, make sure that you're pressing down on pretty much every, um, every single piece or every paper quilling section so that it sticks and really fits to um, the curves and shapes on the outside. So I'm gonna add this going all the way around. If you do run out of paper, you can always add a second piece, but this should be, for the size of the bird that we're working with, um, large enough to fill it with just the one, one piece here. Uh, give it a little area to overlap or a section to overlap, and then rip or cut that edge off so that you can uh, complete the border. So I just went ahead and ripped the edge of the border. And then you can see that this just creates a nice outline and pulls everything together.